Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janae Lee and if you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. It has been a minute and I'm so excited to be here tonight. I have a epic little haul I wanted to share with you guys. I know I was supposed to go live last night and I kind of changed things up and I do apologize for that, but I'm excited to be here tonight. It has been a minute and I am excited to come hang out with you guys for a minute and show you guys some of the things that I got and kind of tell you guys about like where my channel is going and how things are going to kind of go from here. Um, I am going to give it a few minutes. I'm going to get a few things ready and then we are going to get into this epic haul because I'm so excited to share with you guys the things I've got. I have stuff literally like everywhere and I hope that I can get to it all tonight. It's the end of the day, y'all. This hair is a hot mess. I apologize. We're just, we're just going with it. Okay. We're just going to go with it. But, um, yeah, so welcome in whoever's in the bushes. Hello. Hello. Don't be afraid to say hi. This is a mess. Um, I want to say off the bat, I am not going to discuss anything that is happening on the internet right now on YouTube with anyone. Please do not ask me how I feel about things, question things or any of that. I do not have any questions or answers for it. I'm, I, I just, I'm staying out of it and I don't want anything to do with it. Mama T, how are you? How are you? Um, I saw your hair down this. I actually just got it cut. I had, um, like 13 inches taken off and it feels amazing. I see my hair stylist, hairdresser. Um, I see her weekly and she's starting to, um, the process of like really deep conditioning my hair and she blows it out once a week for me. I see her, well, this week I saw her yesterday. Um, and then next week I will do just another blowout and she's using, um, I don't know what she's using on my hair. It starts with an O and she said it's really good and um so my hair feels amazing it's so much softer than what it was it was dead it was brittle and i just needed oh, hold on hold on y'all it is what it is he'll see it um and I just needed, like, I needed to start fresh because I want to color my hair. Obviously, this is my natural color. I don't do anything special to it, but um, I want to lighten it some. And to do so, I don't want to add anything else to it. I've been using box dye on my hair for a while, and it's horrible for your hair. Like, the chemicals in it, all of it. It's just horrible. So... Now that I'm back with my hairstylist, I'm doing more for myself this year. I am totally about taking care of myself and really focusing on myself and my business. And that's what I'm, that's what 2024 is about. It's focusing on myself, my health. And, um, you know, this year started out so crazy for me. Um, I literally almost lost my life and it was, I can't, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to talk about it, but to lose something, um, so precious and almost lose myself was a lot. And I have just realized that I, um, I have to focus on me more. I have to do, you know, more for myself. My family comes first. My kids and my husband are my whole world. I live, eat, breathe, sleep them. And my family, my home, um, many of you guys have seen videos inside my home and my house is immaculate at all times. I mean, does my little one make a disaster million times a day? She does, but I'm right behind her, always keeping up, always making sure that my house is clean and organized. And that's just me. That is just me, a, a personal thing about me. And I wish I could change that and not be so, um, you know, the OCD and the anxiety that I carry with clutter, but that's just something that I'm working on. Um, I am seeing, obviously I have spoke to you guys about my stomach issues and I do have liver issues and I am dealing with a specialist on that. And the outcome that I thought was going to be much worse is not as bad as we were expecting. Um, I have also got in with a very 
good doctor that deals with hormones and hormones being out of whack and all of that. And I've started some new medications for that also on top of my rheumatoid arthritis and, um, you know, the issues that I just deal with. I also have scoliosis and a broken tailbone that is broken four more times. Um, because every time I delivered another child, it has broke again. And so that is getting better. I am seeing a doctor now. I get a massage weekly and the chiropractor and I'm really, truly just working on myself. And, um, I know I haven't been on here as much, but that is because, and we'll get into that shortly about why I'm not so much on YouTube, um, and kind of where my channel is going and how things will go. But let me take a second and say hello to everyone. Cause I'm like rambling. I have not seen you guys in forever. I've missed all of you. And thank you guys for being here with me tonight. I have a ton to show you and I'm going to show you guys this because this is one of my favorites. Y'all, I told you guys a few weeks ago that Starbucks came out with their spring tumblers. Hey Colby, how are you? Thank you. Um, and I got, well, to be honest with you, I didn't think I was going to make it up in the morning to make it down to my Starbucks. And I told my daughter, I said, if you get up and you make it down there, go down there and grab whatever cups they had. And she got me three of them. And I'm so proud that she made it down there and got them because I wouldn't have made it by six o'clock and they would have all been gone. But let me say hey to everyone in chat. Thank you guys for being here. Mama T, love you dearly. I thank you so much for being here. Sally, how are you? Cassie, Emerald, my girl. Colby, Margie, hi, sweet thing. How are you? I'm glad you guys are here with me tonight. I, again, know I was supposed to go live last night and um, my business is taking off again and I knew it would. And um, when we moved into this house two years ago, my business kind of went on the back burner. I shut everything down, black wolf. Hey, hey, boo. Um, thank you. And so when we moved in here, I kind of put my business on the back burner. I left everything packed up when we moved in. And to be honest, I jumped into YouTube and I started doing my DIYs, which I've always done. That's nothing new. Um, but my business was not, it wasn't generating anything. I wasn't really working on my business. A bit sore today from preparing two flower beds. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for the weather to break a little bit here. It is still really chilly and I just can't do the cold. So I'm waiting probably another week or two and I cannot wait to get in my garden. Um, excuse me. But with moving in here, I kind of put my business on the back burner. I didn't jump into opening boxes up and jumping right back into it like my expectations were supposed to be. So with that being said, I have relaunched my business and it's doing amazing. I'm staying busy. I have been so busy. I haven't really been able to do many DIYs that I was doing on my channel. And that's what a lot of my... um subscribers joined here for were, you know, high end Dollar Tree DIYs and things of that sort. Now, I don't think that there's an issue with me adding what I do in my business to here because I make wreaths and cups and tumblers and things of that sort, which are still DIYs. But I don't think that it is what exactly what my subscriber base exactly came for. Um, and so I think that it has been hard because I am so busy in my business that I am unable to do the DIYs that I was doing. And I'm okay with that um, because my business to me means more than anything. You guys know I could be monetized on here and I'm not. I don't care about making money on YouTube. I have always shared on YouTube because I love to share what I do. I've never done it for the dollar. Um, Again, my husband and I, I, and I don't brag about this, but I don't need YouTube money. It is not a source of income that I look forward to. And I'm like, oh my gosh, if I don't put 10 videos out a month and I don't make such and such, what am I going to do? I've never lived like that and I won't. Um, so I, I don't care about the income that a YouTube channel would bring. Um, so Right now, I'm kind of in limbo with the things that I'm trying to get done. Hold on. I do need to grab a few boxes. Because I'm telling y'all, I have... Oh, I forgot I got that. What is in here? Oh, those are cups. Y'all, I'm telling you, it has been a minute. And I am trying to, like, get some of this stuff out of here. 
Um, my cousin keeps saying the economy is bad. I got sick. I got it stuck in my head. The con well, I mean, and it is for many, you know, I mean, it all depends, you know, my husband's job, thank God, um, our business that my husband does is, you know, one that is not front line. I don't want to say it's like front line, but it's one that doesn't get shut down. People need air conditioner and they need heat and he's a master HVAC technician and therefore his job is always in demand. And, you know, so we're, I'm very thankful for that. And my job is not, what I do is, you know, it's not a necessity, but people love what I make and they enjoy, um, the things that I make and, you know, continue to come back. And I'm thankful for that. Um, because, you know, and again, even down to my business, I do what I can around my lifestyle because again, my family and my kids and husband all come first. So if I can't do it, I won't take on orders that I can't complete because I'm not going to have myself in a situation where I have upset customers because I'm not making deadlines. And so I have really had to prioritize um, with relaunching my business. I am moving more towards TikTok. Um, because of what I do for my business, it doesn't benefit me as much on YouTube as it does TikTok. Um, over there, going live, I can sell cups all night. Going live over here, there isn't a demand for that. Over there, that's the kind of thing that goes on over there. And so the community that I have built and been around and are just great people in general also are looking for that. And I don't want to push my business on my YouTube channel because again, I didn't start that here. And I don't, I almost feel bad when I post what I'm making for my business because, and I don't ever expect anyone to buy anything, but I also feel bad because it's like, well, that's not what a lot of people joined this channel for wasn't to, um, you know, make tumblers or make wreaths. And my wreath videos do great, um, but they don't do as well as my DIYs. And I do miss making them. Um, but instead of putting money out to make DIYs, I'm putting money out to gain it back in my business. And that is what's important to me. Um, Oh, I know. Oh my gosh, Sally, the food prices are insane. I put an order in that usually costs like $350 and it was almost $500 last week and I could not believe it. Like I didn't add anything extra or extravagant. Like it was just a Walmart pickup. Well, I have it delivered now because they have that, but it is insane. It is truly insane. Um, I have only outstanding debt in my car. My late husband left me is very well taken care of. Oh, that's good. Well, the good thing is I was, like I, I said in a few lives ago, I was very proud. My husband and I paid off both of our vehicles. Um, so I gave my um, 20, I think it's 2017 or 2018 Ford Explorer to my daughter that started driving. And I was able to get a new car. And the other day, my husband went and bought, well, let me, how, how do I say this? we did not finance it. It was a cash buy and he got a 2014 Ford Cobra Mustang that technically is more of a, sh not a street car. Um, so he's enjoying that and I love it because it's a Mustang and it's my favorite car. But, um, I'm very thankful for where we are in life. Again, I, have also been on the opposite side of things where I've used assistance through the state. I have not had anything like, um, so I, we as a team, my husband and I have been together 20 years now, um, this year and have worked very, very hard to get where we are today to come up from living with nothing to having, you know, the means to do what we want when we want to. Um, and it is truly a blessing because I am very humble for that because I remember the days where we had nothing. Um, I just brought my lease. My lease after two years had just over 3,500 actual miles. 
I could have paid cash, but I needed a plumber. I get it. Well, I, I will tell you what, I haven't even been driving much because I have been working so much that my brand new truck, it's almost, well, it's over a month old because I got it on the 31st of December and I still don't even have a thousand miles on that truck because I just, I have literally been busting my ass with work. Um, with that, let's look at some glitters I got because y'all, I'm so excited. I found some amazing glitters. I actually showed this cup. This is actually for my hairstylist. I'm making it for her and it is absolutely stunning. The color shift on it is so pretty and I love them. I have fell in love with this company and their glitters. Um, you know, you can't just take regular Amazon glitters or glitters you get at Walmart and make a, a beautiful tumbler. You can tell the difference in glitters and um, you guys are awesome, Jenny. It shows you guys work hard. Listen, my husband and I are a team and have been from the beginning. We have literally came from nothing together and built everything we have together right now. And I always say like, he couldn't have done it without me and I couldn't have done it without him. Like we are truly like a, a bond and a team. And I absolutely love my husband to death. Like we act like we just met like that's how the love is between us like i i don't want to say obsessed with each other but we are like i absolutely i'm obsessed with my husband like i absolutely love him to death and he's the same with me and i'm so glad to have found someone that loved me unconditionally and been able to learn how to give someone love like that also because it's hard you know love is not easy to find and especially when you have been hurt in the past it's you know it's not something you just give away so he definitely broke my walls down and has made me a better person, truly, because my husband knows how crazy I can get, like truly, truly crazy. OK, so my husband knows that's why when people are like, does he even know what she does on the Internet? Like my husband knows everything because he's the reason why I don't act out more than I usually would. Me and my man will be together 15 years. Congratulations. Yes, Colby. I love that. I absolutely love that. Like, that's how I am. I love my husband, like, to death. Like, if anything ever happens to him, like, man, we're just, you know, I'm, I don't know how I would make it. I truly don't. All right. So for the colors that I used on this tumbler right here, you would think it would be mermaid, but it's not. It is called wild card and they are absolutely stunning. I also got the chunky and the, the, um, fine glitter so that I can fill the chunky in. Oh my gosh. They are so pretty when you shift them, like the color shift, it's kind of hard because of how the lights are, but the color shifts are absolutely stunning. I got a lot of glitter. I spent a little too much, but it's all worth it. Because, again, as I was talking about over on TikTok, um, oh, Sally, I'm telling you, I and I say this, and my husband knows it, my kids know it, I am telling you from the bottom of my heart, like, if something happened to my husband, I don't know if I could continue on. And um, I would have to probably check. I can't even talk about it. I can't. 28 years, Joe. I love that. Hi, Joe. I've missed you. I don't, I'm so sorry, Sally, because I tell you, I don't know how, I don't know how I would deal with it. Like just talking about it brings me to tears. Um, mermaid glitter. Oh, I bought glitter at Menards. You put in your paint and yes, I've done that too. Actually, the house that we had before this one, my Sydney wanted her bedroom with glittered walls and oh my gosh, I couldn't believe I did that. That was a, <laughs> that was something I'll probably never do again because it was a lot. It was a lot of work. It was a lot in general. All right. So here is called Mermaid Scales and she is absolutely gorgeous. Also, she is more of like a green blue instead of like a purple, which I love too, but I really loved how this shifts into the purple. So my hairdresser, her favorite color is purple and like her whole salon is done in purple. So I'm doing this and putting one, um, Actually, I don't even know what, oh, I hung it up so it wouldn't get messed up. It's these beautiful like hearts with like scissors and stuff in it. So I'm going to do like a peekaboo, but I am loving these. 
And then we got a Tutti Frutti, which is a beautiful purple. Just, I think this is a mix. Yeah, mini mixed chunky. So it's got a little bit of everything. Oh, and absolutely gorgeous. The mermaid one. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. I cannot. And I'm actually going to do like an actual peekaboo mermaid on there. So she's going to be so pretty. I thought this was cute because I also got some new cups in. And I want to try doing the... Um, oh, what are they called? I forgot what they're called now. But you put like the um, liquid in between the cup and then like glitter. So I thought this would be really cute. This is called Power Puff Girly. And it's got like hearts and stars and stuff in it. And it's like a Power Puff Girl color-ish. And so I thought these were so cute. And then I, um, so I ordered the liquid. I actually left it in my truck because it was in the mailbox. And... So to go along with doing those um, cups, um, I also got some of these to go in them to float around. So I did watermelon. I thought this would be cute for like the mailman, the post office, or 4th of July. I would probably take the purple out and just leave the flags in the red, white, and blue. And then I thought these were so cute for Easter to do like a little Easter one. Oh, what are they called? Like I can literally cannot believe it. I had my thyroid out. I just missed that. Hold on. Oh, you couldn't talk much due to the pain. Oh my gosh. It's a woman thing. My husband and I could literally talk for hours. Like, that's what we do at night. We just lay in bed and chat about everything. Because most of the time during the day, like with the kids up running around, it's like, who can have a conversation? So. He, uh, to be honest with you, last night, he was like, can you just come up here and lay with me and we can talk? So I did cut work early last night, even though I didn't go live. I still, um, we went, I just went and hung out with him and had some cereal and ice cream, but I get it. My son came in and we'll be watching TV before going to bed. Have fun. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. And I'm sending you all the love and thank you for coming here. And you will reply, thank you. Thank you, my love. Now, this one is really cute, and I love the name of it. It's called Pops Flannels. Now, I love this color. It is like a black, silver, and gold mixture mixed together. The lighting is horrible, so it's doing nothing for it. Actually, there's a little bit of blue in there also. But I thought this would be really pretty for fall or even like New Year's like cups like or something or a guy cup. So I love that one. I showed you the Powerpuff Girly. This, I don't know if I ordered this or if it was just like a freebie. I'm not even sure. Let me look. And what was it called? Opal Clouds. I may have ordered it and it just comes in a smaller. No, she must have gave that to me for free because I don't see that. Yeah, and it's gorgeous. It's called Opal Clouds, and it's like this little bag of like a white holographic iridescent color, and it is so, so pretty. And this, the um, where I ordered this from was Glitter Drip Sips. All right, so I'm working on a Geo Tumblr, like a Geo, I'm going to sneeze. Ugh. And so the colors that I chose to do the Geo one, and it's going to look gorgeous, are, I needed to pick one more, but I can't, I don't know if I want to go with the darker pink or light pink. So anyway, here is one. It is called Pot of Golds. The color in the, my lights are doing a horrible job, but this is absolutely stunning. I want a more make glitter cut. When are you starting your TikTok? Well, so the last two weeks I've kind of been taking like the content that I'm making and uploading because it's so easy to upload like a one minute video over there. And so I decided that I would try and upload every day for two weeks and see where I get. And so I just hit my, well, and, and I will say that is to the help of the Tumblr community because they're absolutely amazing. And I have found so many amazing creators over there that do what I do, that have helped me get to my 1K over there. So I've already reached over a thousand subscribers over there. And um, okay, so this is what is happening. Right now, this will actually be my last live on here for probably at least a week, at least a week, maybe two weeks, because I have ordered 
all new stuff to organize. I've ordered a shelving unit, like a really huge shelving unit to go behind me, a new chair. All of that stuff is starting to come in. And so I am redoing my whole office. Like I'm ripping everything down, tearing it down, taking it apart, cleaning and putting it all back. And so to do that, I need to First of all, I need to figure out how I'm going to still continue my orders while I'm still doing this, but I have a certain area I'm going to set up just for my tumblers. I'm not going to be doing my wreaths. And um, so, but you can order at any time. Head over to TikTok. All you have to do is send me a message. Tell me what you want. I will shoot you an invoice with the, um, an invoice. And if you're okay with the pricing of it, um, pay the price and, I will make it and have it shipped out. Now, if it is already made, so if you see something that is on my page right now that is already made, that ships within 24 hours of payment. If it is something that has to be custom made, it can take up to five days to ship because I can't, it has to cure. And so every layer I put on, I have to give it a curing time. And so it takes up to five days. So for me to, before I will fully feel comfortable with just sending it out. So Sorry, guys. I feel like I don't have any. Here we go. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. So, but I am very excited. I could not believe how fast I had made my 1K on TikTok. Um, again, that was from posting every week or every day for two weeks and people in the community, you know, sharing that I was new and that I'm trying to get to my 1K so I can start going live. I honestly didn't expect it to happen that quickly. But it did, and here we are, and now I'm trying to, like, finish up my office so that I can get everything put together and um, start going live over there because I probably will, I know, I have not felt well the last few days. Like, honestly, like, today was, I didn't even know if I was going to make it going live, but I was like, let me pull it together because I've got work to do. So, um, but I probably will be going live over there more than I am over here. I will probably try to go live at least two to three times a week over there to do live sales. Um, like I said, it's just how it works over there benefits me more doing live sales over there than it does here. And I hate that because I feel like I don't want anyone to think that I'm like leaving my YouTube channel or anything like that. It's not that at all. I'm still going to post over here. Um, I don't have social media anymore. No, you have to. You have to get TikTok. Just get a TikTok. You can put it in a different name, like just, just to have, you know what I mean? And you can always message me and be like, hey, this is me. And I'll know that it is you. Um, but I... um. I don't want, I'm still going to do my YouTube channel, but to, you know, again, I'm not looking to make money on TikTok or from TikTok itself, but what I would generate in the sales for my business on TikTok is where it works for me. Um, and so, like I said, I will still go live here and do my hauls. I will probably do less DIYs over here um, and do more hauls and things of that sort just to hang out with you guys and chit chat and go lie with you guys what is it with y'all how the hell do y'all not have a tiktok or any other social media you have social media you have a dang youtube causes issues in my marriage oh yeah i'm sorry that stinks well listen i will still be posting like whatever cups i make i'm trying to i know i've been posting more over there i'm trying to make sure that i'm posting over here still um i know I'm going to try to still post over here. And again, if you ever want anything, you can always email me. You can always say, hey, if I post something on YouTube and you like it, you want it, you can always email me and say, hey, I want this. Or you can just tell me in the comments, you know, um, a lot of people, what they do is just email me or I don't, I mean, you don't have Facebook either. Um, so the only way you would do it is just contact me through email and say, could you make me this? Or can I see this? And I can always send you pictures or whatever it would be. But um, I am not leaving YouTube. I'm not leaving YouTube. I just will be on YouTube the same. I will probably still do my Wednesday lives. And I will try to get one video a week but at, without it being like my live. Um, but other than that, you don't do emails, Cassie. I'm going to pop your damn hand. 
with a Starbucks logo. Oh, I got you. You love Starbucks. Okay, so while we're talking about Starbucks, I know I'm all over the place, but let me show you the other bags or the other cups that came out with the spring. So I showed you this one. This was the first one that I showed you. So super cute, but y'all, these ones are my favorite and they're such my favorite. I haven't even used them yet. This is another one. You guys know I have literally like 50 of them now. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I may even set some of them up behind me um, on my shelving unit when it comes and it comes with this really pretty topper for it oh i love them and then this is my favorite this is my daughter's favorite too it's got glitter all over it because it's been sitting at my desk and i've been working and then this is another one i absolutely love it is like a sweater like a chain link um look on it but i love it oh i love them so so much and what were these these were 24 a piece yeah, all of them were $24. i am sure this one was also. I don't have the tag on this one. But they were $24 each, and I love them. Now, I will say, this is what really kicks my gears, okay? Because Starbucks inside Target sells a different cup than the original Starbucks locations. And that really irks me because Target is not close. Like, I have to go in town. I'm like, hot. These lights are killing me. Um, so I have to go in town to get to a target. Well, I don't do that often. I mean, at this point I got my groceries being delivered and Amazon comes daily. And so therefore I don't really have to leave the house unless it's a doctor's appointment, a hair appointment, massage, or, um, I am going to start doing spray tans because y'all, I looked at my legs the other day and I looked like I had jaundice. I was so pale. So I'm like, I have got to get some color on this skin. Um, need to buy. Oh, I know. Oh my God. Between the cups I buy and the cups I make, I'm literally, that's why I had to get like a huge shelving unit to go behind me. Number one, to display my cups that are already made for when I go live on TikTok. So if someone's like, can I see that cup? And I want to purchase that. I have them like displayed in a better way um and so i found this beautiful like shelving unit it's got like five shelves on them on each side and then like three or four in the middle and it's super pretty it's got like a instead of it being like the blank like just like you see the wall behind it, it has like these really pretty like washed boards that have like this blue teal color in them so it's just really pretty so i'm excited to get that and i needed a new chair like this chair that i have I, we've had literally forever i may have honestly i probably i think this chair honestly came from the side of the road with a free sign on it 10 years ago and ain't no shame okay because that's how i am like if i see something i need and i don't have the money to buy it but somebody's giving it away i'm gonna pick that thing up and put it in my trunk and i'm gonna come home and i'm gonna clean it i'm gonna lace all it and it's gonna be mine i know i know oh my god like it was literally to the bottom of the chair like i was sitting in it and my hair was literally to like the bottom of her chair and she's like are you sure and i was like i'm sure just just cut it but it's so much healthier it's so much softer she's using oh it's called oplex oplexa or something like that she's using and i actually ordered it oh and i forgot all of my new purse stuff i wanted to show you guys i ordered all this soul de janeiro stuff like a month ago and it's been in a bag from or in a small box from amazon and it's just my purse stuff i keep like a bottle of spray and this small lotion and the deodorant which i don't really like the deodorant it's okay but it kind of makes my armpits itchy i don't know why or if it's just something in the deodorant but Starbucks is very addicting. I am literally trying to be more water. I truly am. I have stopped drinking Red Bulls. My doctors are like, no more Red Bulls, no more caffeine like that. Um, my thyroid is also messed up. So I take thyroid medicine in the morning and they don't want me drinking coffee or anything with it because they said it can give like um, heart palpitations and stuff. And I already deal with those. So they were very adamant about like cutting off caffeine. Now I will say if I go out this house, the first stop is Starbucks. I am going and listen, my Starbucks loves me so much that number one, when I pull up, they already see my face and put my order in. Now they always let me order for like the kids and stuff. If they're with me, like something separate, but 
I love Red Bull too. I don't like the original kind. My husband, well, and I will say also he stopped drinking Red Bull also. So um, I went to, oh, well, I didn't go. I had my daughter go to the grocery store last night to pick up a package of hamburger because I'm trying to be good. We're even eating at home, y'all. I mean, I don't know what has got into me, but I'm trying, okay? Watermelon. Is, yes, the watermelon is my favorite. Or what is the other? The peach nectarine. I love that one too. But I really have given them up. I haven't had a Red Bull in probably two two weeks. Now, I will say I had to get gas two days ago and I grabbed Celsius and I know that they're not any better, but they had a new flavor out and I had to try it. So I did grab two Celsius and I tried those. Ah, see, I can't do that cinnamon one. The cinnamon pear, pear I couldn't do it. And it always messes me up because it's the same color as the watermelon. So I would grab that thinking it's the watermelon and it was wrong. I would still drink it, but pomegranate, like, um, like the big, like that weird shaped bottle pomegranate. Is that pomegranate? I think that is. I used to drink that when I was doing IVF. They was, I don't know if it was a myth or not, but there, they said something and it was like good for you to do. And then after you have your transfer, you eat McDonald fries. It's just like a, I only like the grape Celsi. I haven't had that one probably because it was grape. And I was like, Ooh, why would I try that? But I'm sure it's probably really good. I need to try it. Um, all right. Let me show you the last of these glitters because I'm telling y'all, I got a ton of stuff to show you. I got stuff from TikTok. I got the Ipsy box. I didn't even record it. I was going to start recording and going on my second channel. Y'all, I cannot, I just can't like my business is taking up so much time of mine right now that like it is what it is. But anyway, I got the, what was her name? Gwen Stefani box this month. It's been sitting in the corner. I finally just opened it and my kids are like, ma, can you like record it or do whatever you're doing with this so we can have some of the stuff in it? Cause I got like some drunk elephant stuff. Oh, I got a good box. All right. So we got enchanted. This is another gorgeous pink. Um, again, these will be shown a better way on my TikTok. So, and this one, I love this color so much. It's called seaside and it is this baby pink. Y'all, I cannot wait to varnish this on a cup, which means you just like, um, use tack it like all over tack it and it kind of makes it like a sticky you sprinkle this one all over it and then you rub it in and it shows this beautiful pinky iridescent color absolutely stunning i actually wish i had the cup that i had made with it um not this color but a different one but it just shipped yesterday and then i got on the beach which is another custom really pretty pinky purple color to kind of go with the other pinks and purples like i thought this would be so pretty together like if i did something with these because they kind of match and then i also got all american this is a custom extra fine but y'all this this video is doing no justice for how gorgeous the shift is in this holographic color I mean, it is absolutely stunning. And I think that is all my glitters. Yes. Okay. So let me show you. Oh, and then I'll show you my new spray paints that I got. Okay. Because I usually use Rust-Oleum. And I'm not having it anymore. I don't like it. Red Bull pomegranate. I didn't even know that. I think I saw that flavor. I'll have to look. I love pomegranate. I can drink it straight. So I will look for that. So I've been using Rust-Oleum and I really just dislike how it sprays, how it leaves like these little speckles on my cups. And then I got to strip my cup, whatever. Anyway, I found some new spray paint and y'all, I, I, I bought every damn color in it. I absolutely love this. So we got aromatherapy in this beautiful like purple. Now these are just bases. When I do my tumblers, I always do a base on it. Actually... I did not use this purple. I used the Rust-Oleum purple. That way, if there's anything shown, like if I miss a speckle or a spot on my tumbler, it doesn't show white. This is Farmer's Daughter. I freaking love it. Oh, I love it. And these are so freaking pretty. This is Island Girl. This is Emoji. I am loving these. And this one is absolutely stunning. This is pixie dust. And this is an iridescent spray. Y'all, this looks so gorgeous over stuff. Instead of sometimes doing like, um, if I was to add like, say some of this opal into my epoxy and then add it to my tumbler, well, it would 
do the same thing as if I was to spray it with this. And this is such a pretty paint. I know, aren't they? So I saw my girl Jess over at Flint Sisters. She has been using this. Actually, she was the one that used this and I saw it on a cup and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I grabbed that. All right, let me show you some TikTok stuff because I ordered from the TikTok shop. Number one, y'all know how I am about my kids' education. Education was not something that was very important to my parents. It wasn't something that anyone made a big deal about in my family to me. Like, you need to do this. You must do this. You've got to do better. You know, it just wasn't. So for me, for my kids, I am like over the top about school. I'm at all the functions, all the games. I was the PTA mom in the elementary school. I mean, I'm not anymore and I don't want to be again, but I do pay, you know, the PTA fees every year so that, you know, they still have income coming in. I was going to ask why you used Rustolin when I started watching you. I guess you got a good deal on the paints. No, because that's what I saw other people using. And I just don't like it. It's only for a base. Like when I go, this is sanded down. So it looks really bad right now because I sanded it. Because I'm going to do another overlay on it. But um, before I add anything to my cups, I take a regular stainless steel cup and I sand it and then I spray paint it. Um, and that is just in case anything was to leak through. Look how gorgeous she turned out. She's already sold and she is just waiting to cure for another 24 hours and she is shipping. But look at that glitter underneath. That's a custom glitter that I made with the colors that I already have. Um, but she is stunning. Oh, she is so, so pretty. And this is Rust-Oleum also. And I, there were a few spots that I had to start over and I just did not like how it lays, especially when I'm doing peekaboos like this. I just can't do it. I can't. So Jill, if you have any ideas or recommendations on a good spray paint, I do use the, let me see which ones I have. Um, these are the ones that I use, and I get this in all the colors. So it is the two-time Rust-Oleum um, paint and primer. Um, I do prefer a more matte than I do a um, glossy. These are gloss. Ugh, I'm, I'm going to struggle with these. I don't know why I struggle with glosses. Um, the colors do look very nice. Well, thank you. Um, okay, anyway, back to education. You guys know that I'm really big into my kids' educations. I'm always buying new books, learning books. I'm always raving about like kindergarten, like under kindergarten, like preschool. Dollar Tree even has amazing, um, what is it, scholastic, like learning books that kids learn in. And so Amazon, or not Amazon, TikTok shop, my girl, Melissa, my little bestie. I love her to death. She's probably in the bushes. Love you, boo. Um, she is over on TikTok and she was like, you have to get this for Olivia. She was like, it is an amazing opportunity. It's expensive. It was $50 for this, but I bought the four pack. I haven't even opened it yet. It comes with um, magic reusable ink phonics natural learning process so it has everything from abc's one two three i think it also does like learn like spelling and something else or math i think this is math back here and it comes with these pens and it teaches your kids how to hold the pen correctly and this pen is like a magic pen so after they've done wrote like wrote whatever they're writing on there it disappears like in an hour so that this book can be reused over and over and over again. And each, so you can buy individually like just the ABC part or just the one, two, three part or just whatever, or you can buy the whole pack. And with each pack, you get four pens or no, you get two pens and four refills in each one of these. So I am so excited because you guys know I'm on the struggle bus. I've been, yeah. Um, I've been 20 years since I've done any spray painting. Oh, but you got to tell me which, well, what were you using when you did it? Hmm. Anyway, so these are absolutely amazing. I, um, yes, Emerald, I, 
am very big about my kids. And uh, again, none of my kids went to preschool, Head Start, anything like that. Now, I have spoke about Olivia going to a preschool program coming this fall when the kids go back to school. Um, and we are still undetermined on if we are going to send her or not. I I don't know. I, I can't even talk about it because it just, it really... It gives me anxiety. Now she would go to a private preschool. It would only be two days a week for like two hours a day. And I I don't know why I'm struggling. I've just always kept my kids home till they went off to kindergarten and they've all done amazing. All of the kids have done absolutely amazing in school. And so it is by me making sure they are learning what they need to learn before they go. And at the age of four, she is already doing amazing. She can write her first name. She knows her, not her address, but what town and city she lives in. She can ride a bike with training wheels. Like she's just, she's just doing the darn thing. And because of that, I just, you know, I feel like, well, then why don't I just keep doing it and keep her home? But then I also know that. I want her to get the socialization skills and anyway. All right. We're on to another TikTok shop and I got more stuff coming. It hasn't all came, but y'all, I saw these glasses and I was like, oh yes. Oh yes. what you think? Now, let me tell you, they must've took these glasses and we're like, we're going to put some kind of true value. Oh, okay. And I have a lot of those in my town. Um, we're going to take these brown glasses and we're going to add some color to them. I got two pair. Well, what they did was they spray painted on. It looked like they took tape and spray painted the damn stuff on it. I'm going to show you in these ones because it's really noticeable in these. Hold on. Let me see. Can you see like along the lines? How? Hold on. I'm all backwards. It just looks like spray paint because it like splattered over. It is the weirdest thing. See, and this one, this side, uh, no, this side is lighter in paint than the other side. Now, these don't look as bad, but I was like, yes, girl, we're going to get these. We have got to get these and I love them. I love them. I think they are so stinking cute. I think my husband's going to like them on me too. Just saying. But I do. I like them. I thought they were so damn cute. These are the black ones. I like these pink ones, though. I like these ones better. They're the blue light ones because I'm always on my phone at night and it gives me like the worst headache. So I always wear like, um, I just get like, it's like a pack of like, I don't know, five or six pairs from Amazon for like 14 or 15 bucks. But after like six months, I've literally lost all of them. And my, I make my girls wear them too. Kaylee actually wears glasses and her glasses actually have the blue light tint thing on them because she's like me and has stigmatism. So it's good like to wear these when you are, when you have stigmatisms. I just got new glasses too. Did you? Oh my gosh. Okay. So let me show you my last TikTok. Well, there's three of three pieces, but y'all, I'm absolutely obsessed with these. Okay. So over on TikTok shop. Okay. I'm obsessed with TikTok shop. Somebody take the card and cut the bitch up because I'm going to be in trouble. That's where we are. Okay. <laughs> okay. So these outfits are absolutely amazing i think they were oh i'm on my phone so i can't even tell you i want to say they were six dollars seven dollars they weren't no more than i know they were four dollars each i think i caught them on sale and they are pants they are stretchy they are like they look so stinking cute if you go over to my tiktok you will see a very short little i was like I tried this one and I had walked downstairs. I didn't even take the tags off of it. Now, I know many people are going to be like, you don't weigh that much, but I do. I am 160 pounds. I'm tall. I'm also five, seven and a half. And this fits me perfectly. Okay. So here's what I look like. All right. So this thing is so comfy. It is so soft. It is flowy. It's stretchy. Now I got a large and I will be honest with you. If I would have known, I would have sized up to $4. Yes. I think I paid like $20 for all of them with shipping. It was like $22. These glasses were $1.68 a piece. Okay. I have so much stuff that I haven't even showed that I've ordered. Like back at Valentine's, they had these gorgeous like heart earrings and 
girl. Okay, so we got also got the tan. All right, I'm telling y'all, y'all better go get a TikTok because that TikTok shop is where it's at. These are the cider ones also. So I also got the khaki color in it. What size is this? I think I got all of them a large. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, it does right here. What is this? Oh, it don't say. Huh. Okay. Anyway, I'm almost positive they were all large. Oh, wait. It's on the bag. Yeah, largest. So, I like I said, I wish I, because I'm tall, I wish I would have went up a size because it would have been longer for me. But they were, it's super cute. So, I got khaki and I also got the black in them. And these are going to be so cute come spring. They actually looked, I actually tried the green one on with my jean jacket over it to see what it would look like. And I had a pair of sandals that I threw on with it. And here's the black. They're not see-through. Like they look so nice on and they are so stretchy. Like I'm talking about like stretchy material. You can't see your bottoms through it. What's my name on TikTok? Complete Creations. Yep. Um, and I absolutely love them. I also got a pair of overalls that are coming. They were so cute. So I got a pair of overalls and then they had these one piece jumpers, kind of like the Kim Kardashian ones. They're just like the one piece, um, like long sleeve one piece jumpers. Now I wouldn't wear them out cause my husband ain't gonna have all this booty showing like that, but um, I will wear it around the house and it'd be really comfortable in, but I did order those too. So those are coming and I ordered my husband something. I saw this thing. Okay. And you put it around your neck and you lay your arms in it. So your arms are kind of relaxing and this thing is laying on your neck and it's a massager. It was like everybody, the videos on it of the men sleeping with it on drooling. That one got me. And when I saw that video of that man drooling, sleeping with that thing on his neck, I bought it. So that should be here. Oh, here's another TikTok shop item. If you guys did not know, like I have absolutely been obsessed. Kim Card Skims, that's what it is. Yes. I want TikTok to watch. Flat Earthers. Oh, I love it. They are nut jobs. Oh, well, I do appreciate you joining me on TikTok too, Joe. I see you. Um, and I love when you are over there loving my videos. And I do appreciate it because the more love over there, the more I get to grow. And that is, like I said, like I'm, I'm not leaving YouTube in general, but I will be on TikTok more because it, it just benefits my business. Anyway, if you guys did not know, I'm absolutely obsessed with Betty Boop. I have my whole life. I have purses of her. I have shirts. I have jogging outfits that I've had for years. Okay. So when I seen glam light came out with this, I had to buy it. I was so excited when I saw this. So this is the glam light Betty boob, bring it on boob lip kit. And I will probably never use this. I collect all her stuff. And so Joe, that's my cousin. This is what it looks like opened up. It was only $11 and I think shipping was free on it. I don't even think I paid shipping and it's a really pretty color. It also look at how pretty this is. And let me show you the lipstick. It's in a heart shape. I could not believe it. It comes in this heart shape container. Oh, I love Betty Boop. Freaking love it. And then it's got little, let me see. It's got little hearts on it and it's got the little B on the front. Oh, so pretty. I love it. Love it. Love it. And I actually really do like that color too. Um, but I don't think I'll use it because I don't want to ruin it. I love it just like this. So yes, this was another TikTok shop item that I grabbed and it comes with a little magnetic box and sits together. So stinking cute. Bring the boop on. Boop lip kit. Yes, I saw this and I had to buy it. He's a flat earther. Oh my God, that's so funny. Y'all, I got so much stuff down here. Um, Okay, so you guys know I love my headbands, okay? And so I found some more headbands. Now, I order a bunch of these all the time. And you want to know why? Because I get them and the damn bows look like they go on babies. Like, I'm not wearing a bow that's like this big in my hair. Like, that's just ridiculous. That's not even my style. So... I found these and they're not, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. I'm going to keep them. Um, 
usually what I do is I just give them to Olivia if I don't like them. But these ones are super cute. And they actually came with more, but she's already stole some of them. Well, look how pretty these are. These are from Amazon. Now we're on to Amazon stuff. So um, I love them though. I love them. You guys know I love my, my bows and my big bows and my headbands and stuff. And so I just love them. And I like these glasses. We're going to wear these tonight. We're going to finish off the night with these on. All right. So let me show you what else I got. I got a lot of stuff for, um, for work. And, oh, I got these too. So I got a huge piece of plexiglass. Like, it is huge. Like, I don't even know what the dimensions are, but it's big, okay? And so what I'm going to make is, like, it's going to go on top of my table so that, like, if I'm recording and it's shooting down, instead of it looking like, like a backdrop or something or, like, this thing down, it's going to be this beautiful epoxied um, plexiglass with glitters and my complete creation name on it. Now I do want to rinse these before I use these, but I did get these to put on them also, and they are crushed glass. And I think once they're shined up, like cleaned up, they will look better. Um, to be honest, I found these in the section where you, um, put them in fire pits, like outside fire pits. Oh, that is so pretty. Actually, I think it's just the container, but I will probably still rinse these off, like, with a tea strainer. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to make a damn old mess. But how pretty are those? So, I'm going to do some kind of, like, geo stripes through it, and then I'm going to add these to it, and it's going to look so pretty. I cannot wait to make this for myself. Here's another really pretty. This is just the beginning of it. Um, if you guys, this is, like, a Northern Lights look. Bows look so good on me. Thank you. I love them. I've been wearing them for years. I will never stop wearing them. Um, and I actually got, my girls got some really pretty ones. I got them. They're like the ones you pin in the back and they have like the, the long um, pieces. That should look very nice. Oh, well, thank you. I'm so excited. So while I'm on my little mini break from really, really working, I'm going to work on that so that when I start back up, I have that a part of my new office setup. So I'm really excited for that. Like I, my mom had gotten a while ago from like this lady, they were like these origami um, shelving units or like big metal expensive, like really nice ones. And this lady just gave them to her. So she brought me two down and I love them and I'm not going to get rid of them, but they're just literally junk. Like I have so much stuff. This thing hide so much behind me. It's not even funny. I wouldn't even show y'all what it looks like because there is so much just crafting stuff and just tumblers and, oh, I have to get organized. That's why I have to take like a little mini break before I even start my TikTok. I'm going to get my office back in order because again, over there, um, live sales are all day, all day. They, I, those girls over there are blowing out tumblers and selling tumblers all day oh my god i forgot i got these and they are stunning all right well for starters let's start with these ones so i really want to start doing like more foils to my tumblers i think it is a really great addition to adding you know glitters and stuff well foils are really really cool to see on tumblers and it's just a different texture and i forgot i ordered these but y'all look at how pretty these are these are all foils in different colors and there's more behind it these are just the front ones oh my gosh they are so pretty i'm gonna take all these front ones out so i can show you so the back have more of like a rose gold pinky purple black and gold oh these are gonna be so stunning on a cup so so stunning and you literally don't need that much at all either so i got some of these that's what I'm saying. A lot of this stuff I've just left in boxes because I know that my all my new stuff is coming and I want to um, redo everything. So I'm just like literally not um, opening everything up yet until 
I get situated. Arteza, Arteza, I think is how you say it, Arteza. I've been wanting like their paints and their markers, but their paint set is pretty expensive. It's like $70 and I just can't pull the trigger on it as much as I want to. I just can't. But what I did order myself are these um, Arteza. These are Everblend Ultra H2O um, markers. Hold on one second, guys. So I absolutely love these. These are, are these highlighters? I don't know. Anyway, so this is the, these, no, they're not. These are the colors that I got because when I do the geo cups, geo cups kind of like go up and down and then it would be like a patch of color and then a patch of color above it and then another patch of color above it and then i would do the same thing on this side and another color here and another color here and so what i will do with the marker is go around and define each like geo area actually that's what i'm working on tonight with these colors let me show you because i do want to so it's going to be this the strawberry wine. I am adding this blue. I know it looks a little crazy. Like, why would you add blue to it? But to give it that little, little bit of pop. And then I don't know what else I should use if I should go lighter. All right. So y'all help me. Do I go lighter or do I go darker? So we already have that. So this is just another kind of pink. Actually, I could do both of them. One, two, three, four. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use all five of them. I'm going to use all five of these to make that geo cup tonight. And that's going to be stunning. And then what I'll do is I'll embellish with the, the pins around it. I also got new, y'all, this is, this is a damn shame. This a damn shame because Valentine's is over and I can't even use it. Like, what is all this stuff? All right, y'all, just bear with me. So when <sighs> January was a very hard month for me, you guys, I have said that I have, uh, it has been crazy. I did not decorate as much for Valentine's as I wanted to. And there are some things down here in this bag. I told you guys I was going for more of the vintage look and this is the same look I'm going to be doing for Easter. Well, this is like a banner and these are so stinking cute. They're all like the vintage little kids on here. I actually have the rug set in my, um, kitchen right now. It looks like it comes with the banner and then those little spin wheel things that you hang from the ceiling with those on it. And then here are the, these are a set of six sofa, um, they're pillowcase covers. So it's a set of six pillowcase covers. I'll just put them up for Valentine's next year. Um, it is what it is. You know, I couldn't control that craziness. All right. Here are some of the butterflies that I'm going to be using, um, on this tumbler. Again, she loves butterflies. Her whole studio is purple and butterflies. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at how pretty these little rhinestone. I don't want it. It's going to, there we go. Look how pretty they are. And they have like a jewel in them. So they are going to be so pretty when they are on a tumbler. I know it's hard to see because my finger is in the way, but it just gives a subtle little small detail to them. And I'll probably have them look like they're flying like together up. And then I also got these larger ones. Now I like those because they're kind of not bent, but kind of bent. And these ones are not, but they're still really pretty and will look really pretty on a tumbler. But here are some of these colors. Oh, so, so pretty. Oh, this pink and purple is gorgeous. It actually matches that cup perfectly. So before I go back on Wednesday, I have to have her tumbler ready. Um, and she's having a wreath made. Look how pretty these are. I love being extra as AF, okay? I love embellishing things and, you know, adding all of the things. All right, here is a just a pack of paintbrushes. Why are they so hard? Oh, um, I needed new paintbrushes for the Geo, so I ordered those. Here is a jacket that has been down here. 
And I really like this jacket a lot. It's like a rain jacket kind of. And I love that it ties like in the, not ties, but like tightens in the middle. So it's not like flat. It kind of like cinches your waist. Um, kind of looks like an Eddie Bauer rain jacket, you know, with the Burberry look, I'm assuming. I didn't even reali realize that, but I did need like a lighter jacket. Um, enjoy the kisses of nature waterproof jacket 100% polyester so anyway I just needed something lighter than my my husband got me like winter coat that's like long to my knees um good night Joe thank you for coming and I always appreciate your comments and love and I do hope that you have a good day tomorrow it's bedtime for you I know you get up early and then we got some micas um vintage pigments aren't they yeah mica powders so I got some mica powders and they are like an iridescent um, color. It's kind of hard to show, but the colors are on top of the label, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Here's like a purplish blue. Here's a pearl luster. Like adding these into epoxy is chef's fucking kiss, man. Chef's kiss. All right. I want to show you what I got from Pink Zebra. Are you guys okay with doing a few more items? Because I got a lot of shit over here, okay? Hold on. So, my girl over on TikTok, her name's Aldisa Smith. And she is a pink zebra consultant. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this Blue Lotus Tiki Beach with Simply Lemon. This goes into your diffuser. And you literally need two or three drops. My, I can literally smell the one that I'm, um, my diffuser in the living room. Excuse me, down here right now. It smells amazing. I am so glad that I went with this scent. Absolutely love it. So she does like a bunch of sales on her um, channel at night. And you can go and like pick bundles or whatever. So I bought two different bundles. And so I got two different warmers. And then I also got... Let me see. I got all kinds of stuff, y'all. I got all kinds of this stuff. And then she was so super sweet. She gave me two free items. Um, one was a ring, and my daughter already grabbed that. She she absolutely loved it. It was like an infinity um band, like a little infinity sign with a little <clears throat> gem in the middle. And she loves she knows that I like nails, so she gave me these really pretty little nails. I thought it was sweet. Just to, you know, just to throw in a little something. So it was my first time ordering from her. I felt, you know, I kind of like my Bed Bath & Beyond uh, or Bath & Body Works. And so I had to, you know, I was like, all right, let's just try something different. I'm so glad I did. I am. I will probably never, ever buy from Bath & Body Works again. And I truly mean that. Well, for candles and stuff like that. This is a little bag of cherry. And because I had my cherry popped, um, I got a little bag of this cherry bomb smell. Oh my gosh. You know what it smells like? Cherry Kool-Aid is exactly what it smells like. And I bet you that will smell so good. Now, the good thing about these is you can mix all of them. Now, I'm obsessed with this um, pink peony. This is a room spray. And I can literally spray this. I only, we just got it like two days ago. So I had to try it all out, but I sprayed this down here at like, I don't know, nine o'clock at night when I got the package, I brought it down here to show the girls. And the next morning it still smelled like this in here. Um, I absolutely loved it so much that I also got a bag of the pink peony. And, oh, it smells like a, let me smell it. It smells like Victoria's secret. Like, um, bombshell is what it smells like just like that it smells so stinking good and then this one is also a really good one this is the cashmere um vanilla blossom and uh, it smells it's more like um bakery smell like these are more like like uh how do i say it like um floral like fresh floral smell this is more of a bakery smell and oh i love it i cannot wait to plug these damn diffusers in oh 
What am I doing? Hold on. I don't, okay. Push something on the laptop. And then this one is Cherry Blossom mixed with Summer Romance. And oh my God. Bombshell. I love that. Oh, I love that. It's such, these are such clean smells. Like I, I smell these and it is literally just like the cleanest. Oh, it smells so good. So, um, I don't know. I got two bundles. And so, um, I got, I don't know. You get to, it was kind of like a, you don't really get to choose. It was like, um, uh, well, well, she was playing some kind of game and it was like, uh, I don't know what it is. Like if you pick this one, um, that's the one you keep. Or if you don't like that one, you can pick another number, but whatever that is, you do have to keep. So um, this was the small one that I got. And I really like this because it will match my kitchen. And it says where um, flowers bloom, so does hope. And it's a little warmer. And so I love this. This is actually going to go in my kitchen tonight. And then this one, I think that I'm going to put down here at my office. Um, so when I'm working, it smells good, which I, I have like a candle. And let me tell y'all, somebody remind me to tell y'all about my husband, Valentine gift to us from Hallmark. Y'all, I can't with him. I cannot. I cannot. Anyway, um, <laughs> fucking crazy ass. Anyway, this is a really cute one. It is just a hexagon look to it. It's nothing fancy, but I really like it. And I think it'll go nice on my new shelving unit because my shelving unit has that blue in it, but it's just a little hexagon and, um, I'll, you know, put some beads in it and it'll smell absolutely divine down here when I'm working. And then I can give her like a little shout out also. Oh, that's so cute inside of it has the um zebra print i'm moving in with jenny i know right my house smells like the beach my house right now smells like this blue lotus tiki beach and oh my god i'm telling you it is absolutely amazing it smells so freaking good so that oh i'm gonna break it already that is what I got from the pink zebra lady and absolutely loved all of this. And this will last me forever, like literally forever. So, and like I said, I will be honest with you. I have more like, um, diffusers in my house than I do warmers. So I'm really interested in getting more of these to burn in the diffusers because this smells absolutely divine in my house right now. I have it in my bathroom, the master bathroom, my bathroom going, and I have it in the living room going and it's absolutely amazing. All right. What else do we got over here? Oh, there's my damn clip. Oh, here's another headband I got. I forgot I left these down here. So you guys have seen my one like this. I have a red one and a black one. And so I ordered me a pink one and y'all, I just freaking love them. I love them. I wouldn't do my hair like that though, but I do love these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm so bummed I didn't bring any of my other stuff down to show you guys, but that's okay. We got enough shit down here. Anyway, I love it. I have to do my hair. My hair's the end of the night. And then I also ordered um, a pack of these um, hair clips because I'm doing my hair more and now that I'm paying to have it done weekly, I want to keep up on it. I also started um, getting scent bird or not scent bird, scent box a while ago. And so this one is um, Spade Sherry by Kate Spade. It's called Sherry. And you guys, this is the absolutely best thing ever. It rolls out like that and you get designer perfume for a budget. I think my first um, one was like $7 and I pay, I think it's $12 a month now or something like that. It comes in this really pretty black box and you get a new um, container with whatever you choose. I think I don't, I don't choose them though. I think I gave them like, um, cause I never went back and chose anything. Um, I just told them like what I like and they just send it to me. And so this is the Kate Spade Sherry. It smells absolutely amazing. And I love that I get a new bottle of perfume every month. Make a beach perfume just for cat that you should, you deserve that. Hold on. 
Oh, there's the scooper. <sighs> Drop my scooper. Um, so, guys, my nose is like running. It's driving me insane. All right, let's look at this um, icon box. Let me make sure my address ain't shown. I don't want to dox myself. You know, there's a lot of that going on. Um, so, I got such an amazing box. Now, I still get a ton of boxes every month. I just stopped showing them because I kind of just was like, get the fuck away from the beauty community. And, um, but this one was such a good one. I was like, you know what? I'm on my other channel. I'm going to start showing them over there. And then I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do that over there. Anyway, I wanted to share this one because it's a Gwen Stefani and I absolutely love her. And I got amazing products this month, like a uh, freaking amazing. All right. So the first one, let me tell you about this. I have to tell y'all about this real quick before I keep going. Cause I'm going to forget to tell y'all. Okay. So my husband literally never go shopping unless it's in a jewelry store for me. Honest to goodness. Unless it's like a hardware store, a man store, or, you know, like does he need to run into the grocery store or anything like that? No, because I have everything delivered or we order from Amazon. Okay. Unless he's going to the jewelry store, my husband's not in stores. So he went to the Hallmark channel, channel, went to the Hallmark store and, um, <laughs> The lady says it's Valentine's. It's the day before Valentine's. He always does everything the day before, just so we have it on Valentine's Day. And so he goes into the Hallmark store and the lady's like, so we have these beautiful bags. They're like $10 bags and we can fill them for you. And he's like, oh my God. Yeah. He's like, I need four of them. And so the lady's okay. Well, do you want a candle? And he gets these candles for each of us. I met Gwen when she was part of the no doubt. Oh my gosh. I love that. Um, so then, you know, they sell the Simply Southern shirts. I am obsessed with Simply Southern shirts. I have tons of them. My husband knows I love them. So he's like, yeah, go ahead and go ahead and, um, add shirts to the bags. And she's like, okay, do you want one chocolate in them? And he's like, yep, add a chocolate to each. This sucker thought that each one of them damn bags that these ladies are filling were $10 a piece. He said he got up there and the lady rung the bags up and they were fucking like, I think he said he spent almost $300, $280 at freaking Hallmark store. The flowers alone for a dozen of fucking roses were like $50. He could not believe it. I told him, I said, what were you thinking? Like, what were you thinking to go into that store and think that that's why I told him he ain't allowed to go shopping. He is not allowed in stores without me because he, he just don't understand. He don't get it. But what he did realize was how much I spent by going in there because it was like a telltale giveaway. Anyway, that was my dumbass husband's funny moment for Valentine's. But he did. He came home with a bag for each of us girls, even the baby that cannot wear the size medium shirt or the damn candle. I got them. So it was nice to have extra. But y'all, I'm telling you, that man is a trip. Anyway, so the first item we got was this drunk elephant, this shit that everybody's going crazy for. I mean, I don't know what nine-year-old needs some damn drunk elephant, but let her do her thing, okay? I don't know. Here is some wonderful, what is this? Miracle butter. I don't know what the hell you do with it or where you put it, but I guess it's some butter for your body. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the hype is about it. I really don't give two shits about name brands, but it was a good box. So I thought I'd share. Uh, Shawan John. Uh, y'all don't even get me started on that name anyway this is a heat protecting hair cream oh this will be perfect yeah so this is a hair cream i will totally use that i got a lot of really good stuff this was my favorite y'all i got this charlotte tillsbury beautiful skin look um skin looks more radiant by by up to 285 percent my damn I don't know what we do with this, but uh, the girls aren't allowed to have this one. I told them I am keeping this, but I got a bottle of the um, Buttercream Cheeks Soft Clothes. <laughs> um, but I got this. I was super excited for this one. I do love the Saturday Skin Stuff. This is the a Wide Awake um, Brightening Eye Cream. I love anything Saturday Skin, so I will keep this for these eyes because, y'all, the bags on these eyes, uh this is called Ren um, Clean Skin Care Galactic Glycol 
I don't even know. Brightens and smooths. And you know what? That's all mama needs is more stuff to brighten and smooth. So we're going to use this on them eyes and face. This was actually a really pretty lipstick. I don't know how to say that or who GXVE. I don't know. Um, but it's called Lovable Me. And that's what it shows. And I love this color. This just like kind of like what I'm wearing. I love like a browns. I love the package. And this sucker is going right in mom's pocketbook. Look how pretty that is. That is such a pretty color. If I didn't have anything on, I would try this on right now. But I am loving this. This is why I still get my boxes. I love getting all of this stuff. Like, I love it. And whatever I won't use, the girls will take. Or I stick in my purse. Or I'll just, you know. I mean, I've got, like, baskets up in my bathroom full of just just stuff. All right. We got some KVD. So I guess that's Kat Von D, Kate Von D, whatever the hell her name is. All right. So we got some long, oh, some new mascara and in black ink. Oh, look how pretty that packaging is. That is really pretty. It's called, oh, it's okay. I see why it's got tattoos all over it. Cause it's called full sleeve. It, uh, now, it all depends on this brush. Oh, well, it's kind of scary. I don't know about that brush. But maybe it'll work. Maybe. I don't like how it goes, like, wider at the top and lower at the bottom. I kind of like a big fluffy brush for my eyelashes. But does anybody else smell their makeup? That's so weird. But I like it. I will try it. I will try it. Peach ass. She was performing with other bands. That's so cool. That is really cool. All right. And then I got new makeup brushes. Um, Beauty for real. I don't know who they are, but they look like they're good, good brushes. I mean, I'll definitely use them. Oh, they're soft. Complexion. What does the other one say? Oh, my mom smells like oh I love that okay so this is for complexion and this is for powder so it says it right there these are really pretty brushes and they are super soft super super soft and then we got a palette I got a lot of stuff in my box this month I mean I know it's the bigger month but I still got a lot of stuff um essential palette beauty inside and out. I don't really do a lot of eyeshadow. So this is a beautiful palette. I really like that. Dominique, that's my cousin's name. Oh, she's pretty. She is really, really pretty. I don't know what I would do with it. Those are some really big eyeshadow pa pans also. This is what they are looking like. I can't even see. There we go. I'm like all crooked. She is pretty. She's got a nice big mirror. Affirmations. That's pretty. Mm. The quality is, is I. It's all right. Now that one's pretty. Pretty kind is pretty. Here's a few of the colors. I always do it in the weirdest spot on my hands. Anyway, it's pretty. I think it's really pretty. I think it was an amazing box. I got some really, really good items. So I was very happy about that. I wouldn't know what to do with so much. But yeah, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, honestly. Um, a lot of the times what I do with the makeup stuff is give it to my girls. And I keep the skincare stuff for myself. Have you ever gotten... And it smells funky. Yes. And I will follow that bitch right out the window. I'm not using anything that smells weird. I don't know why. I don't know why I smell like everything. It is the weirdest thing. Like I've always said that like any of my times doing unboxings on like makeup, I've always sniffed the shit. It's so weird. Um, Oh, those are so cute. I have so many new transfers. I haven't even shared with y'all either. Here's some flower ones. These are going to be going on some tumblers. Oh, so pretty. Here's some more. I haven't even opened these ones. They're Highland Cows. Look how cute those are. 
These are going to go on tumblers. And then we got some Easter ones. Does this have two sets in it? There's no way this is one set. Oh, it is. No way. That's a lot. Holy crap. Yeah, it's all one set. Look how cute these are. I cannot wait to design an Easter cup with these. I don't know my mascara costs. You know what my favorite mascara is? Actually, I thought I had it down here, but I don't. Um. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. But it's like, it's just basic. Um, I get it at Walmart and I've loved this mascara for years. I have literally used it for at least five years now. And it's like $10. It ain't nothing fancy. Let me show you guys this. Look at how pretty this is. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. To be honest with you, when I ordered it, I thought they were like three sheets of them. But it's one large sheet. So that's the middle. And this is the top. Look at how pretty this is. It's a rub on transfer. It's kind of hard to show when I'm doing it like this. But it goes together on the wall. Like I'd have to piece it together. She is so pretty. I ordered myself a neon light too. I'm doing it up. We're going to TikTok and we're just going to do it up over there. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a ball. We is going to have a ball. And I'm going to need y'all. Did I just freeze up on y'all or is it my computer acting silly? Can y'all hear me? Tell me you can hear me because my computer is um, spinning. So I hope I didn't just get froze like that because that's an ugly face. Can you hear me? Am I frozen for you guys? Oh, you hear me? Okay, you guys can hear and see me. Okay, good. My computer's spinning, so it probably is just something for my computer. But I had so much fun coming over here and hanging out with you guys. Again, if you don't have a TikTok, I do apologize. I will, I will definitely be taking the content from TikTok and bringing it over here to YouTube and uploading. I am going to, um, still go live over here every Wednesday at 9 PM and do my hauls with you guys or make something or whatever it is. Just come and hang out with you guys still, because you know, there are some of you that don't have other social medias and, it does stink because I am more active on other me social medias right now than I am here. Um, I just, I just needed to, I just need to get the fuck away from here for a little while. Like I love you guys dearly, but I just, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm so tired of hearing about where I go and what I do and what other people say is my fault and how that somehow an issue of mine. And I'm just over it. Um, I don't condone or disagree with what anyone does. I will voice what I have to personally to people that I feel that need to have something said to. I don't need to do that publicly to denounce. I will never denounce anyone publicly. I've never done that. Um, and I, you know, I just, I'm not going to deal with the drama. I'm so tired of the hate messages, the comments in my comment sections. Like I'm just over it. This Cassie has probably owned one mascara for. Oh my God, stop it. I hope not. I hope not. You got to change it. You got to change it every, I think it's every three to six months. I do use a lot of mascara. That's one thing I use every day. So I actually have makeup on and I absolutely hate the way it looks. Like I do. I, and I'm so hot down here in the, in front of these, um, lights. So I always bring this down here to like wipe my face with, but I don't know. I wasn't, I got a new foundation. I'm not too fond of it, but you have the same can stop it. <laughs> That's funny. Do I have to you? Sorry guys. Thought I had something on my tooth. But, 
Um, yeah, but I'm excited to continue content here. Um, again, I probably just won't have a Saturday video um, while I am trying to get adjusted and my office flipped and I will not be live next week, possibly the week after that. I'm hoping to have everything done by next week not this weekend, but next weekend. So I can get back to schedule over here on Wednesdays. But if I don't, I don't, and I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I need to get organized and get back into the groove of things. And with my business doing as well it is, as it is, I really want to make sure that that is front and center because I, I'm just, I can't stress myself about making videos over here and trying to do my business and stress you know, stretching myself, then I'm just, I can't do it. I'm not going to. And I tried and it just isn't working. It isn't working for me. Um, and it's hard. I hate that. You know, I wish I could still do more DIYs while working on my business, but it just isn't feasible. And maybe in a month or two from now, I can get a routine down with my business and my life and be able to incorporate my DIYs back into my channel. But you know, I hope that everyone that comes here comes here for me, regardless of what the content is and enjoys what I post regardless. Um, thank you. Well, I will always be here on YouTube. I will still be posting. Again, I will be taking whatever lives I do on any other social media and bringing them over here and uploading them here. Um, I will still be putting up reels over here and community posts. I just won't be doing two videos a week and a live. I'll just be doing my Wednesday lives at least for the next six weeks. Um, so, but I will still be here. I am not leaving YouTube. Can't nobody run me off but myself and I ain't going nowhere. So, um, but I do hope that everything else in the world of YouTube can just calm down some. I, you know, I don't like to see anybody in situations that they are regardless. And it just, it makes me, it just makes me all sad. So I, um, I'm going to stay focused on myself. Again, I'm really working on my own mental health and staying away from the negativity and all of it. And I, I know that I am a better person than what many say. And I know that I have a lot to offer than many do. And so therefore for that, I'm going to continue being myself, um, flawed as fucking broken as hell. And, continue to make the content that I enjoy and love and continue to watch my business be successful. Um, and the rest, everything else will fall into place. Um, but I don't even know what time it is. Oh, I just dropped this. No. See, that's why I don't get fucking around. What time is it? 1030. All right. I got some time to go hang out with my sugar booger before he got to go to bed, but I still got work to do. So I'm going to go hang out with my husband for about an hour. And when he goes to bed, I got to come back down here and I got to kick out some work because mama's got work to do, but I will see you guys not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after with a new office reveal. I will also be recording some of that. So I'll put that up if it's just a reel or not, but I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.